Hi everybody, I'm Lights Camera Jackson. Director Neil Blomkamp is best known for his 2009 Best Picture Oscar nominee, District 9. While his latest film, Elysium, won't get that kind of attention, it is pretty impressive. In the year 2154, Earth has become diseased and overpopulated. The poor live in the streets. Most people are sick and don't have jobs. However, the wealthy and powerful have escaped the dying planet and moved to the luxurious world of Elysium, a satellite station hovering above Earth where all sicknesses are cured and residents live in total paradise. Following an accident on the job, factory worker Max, played by Matt Damon, is given the opportunity to finally get to Elysium, but he has to do a few drastic and dangerous things to get there. He accidentally comes into possession of some valuable information, and soon everyone either wants him, or at least wants his head where the info is stored. That includes Elysium Defense Secretary Delacorte, Jodie Foster, and her thug, played by District 9's Charlotte Copley. Welcome, Agent Kruger. 10,000 kilometers and closing. Shoot them down. Missiles away. There's very little character development in Elysium, and for a science fiction movie, there's not much science. But there is plenty of action and some good performances. Damon stands out in a physically demanding role, while Foster's role is limited to talking tough, and an awkward accent and some bad looping make her scenes tough to watch, while Copley is a star in the making. Two other great elements are the special effects and the set design. You do feel like you're in gritty, grimy Los Angeles, and the space station shots are quite convincing. Elysium is rated R for some intense action violence and some disturbing and quite shocking images. It's appropriate for teens and up. On the official LCJ report card, Elysium gets a B-. I'm Lights Camera Jackson. For all of my reviews, you can go to lights-camera-jackson.com and follow me on Twitter at LCJ Reviews.